Welcome back to Taylor Cooks, yet again, back in the kitchen, part two, part two of the mince and onions challenge. Uh, we had part one yesterday, which we stuffed the peppers with, um, and there's a lot of water came out of that, which I was quite amazed at, but uh, it tasted really good, and we mopped it up with the garlic bread. Um, so here's part two. Now, if you get some potatoes, and you use some of the mince that's left over, mix it together, and then you can make a pasty or a pie with it. Ooh, 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 ooh. Do you want me to show you? Cue the music. <laughs> We did the pies the other time um, all I'm going to do is, is use shop bought pastry so so far we've got the the mince which came in at four pounds we've got the pastry a pound uh, we already had some potatoes in uh, already had an onion in so we're not on a lot of money but we've done two meals and we had the um, peppers that were in also so this is the mince from yesterday it's been in the fridge, it's, uh, it's set really uh, with the thickener that's there and all I've done is boil some potatoes, uh, put them in the pressure cooker uh, and I'll mix them and try not to break them up too much and then that will be our filling um, for the pasties which is going to be brilliant, all pies. So it's already cooked and um, what I've done I've let the potatoes go cold because I want a cold filling that's going to go into the pie or the pasta. If it's too hot, it'll melt the pastry before the, the pastry is decided to be cooked. So you can see there, that's all I've done. That's all the potatoes are cooked, everything's cooked. I just don't want too much of them broken up, but I want a little bit. It's the sort of texture you'd get in a pasty, basically, which is, which is about there. Okay, filling, done. 